This playthrough is rated T for teen. Salutations, viewers! Follow right back here with another episode of Front Mission Three. In the last episodes, we went last episodes. Last episode, we went through the Futai Tunnel to chase after Lukov and Alyssa, but we were stopped once again by the Chengli Army, who just seems to be dogging us at every turn. Either that, or Lukov just sets uh, like little pockets of, of enemy soldiers. They're like, "Hey, you know, if my old friends come in here, can you just shoot them? What else do we do before or after that?" Ah, I don't care. And then they just, you just see their skeletons years later, not realizing that they're humans and they should leave their spots. Anyway, we're continuing to chase them through the Futai Tunnel. Looks like one more, a couple more parts to go. They say this is the longest tunnel in the world, and it seems to be showing it. And hopefully we'll have a better showing of our combat skills, unlike last episode where I got the last, uh, or like one of the worst scores you could get. Well, not the worst score, but a pretty bad score. So hopefully I'm a bit more mentally sound for this. We've almost reached the exit. Wow, you can see the ocean. I, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I was I was about to say something like crude, and then I was like, nope, better, best not say it. I didn't actually see my house from here. Whoa! Holy crap! Torpedoes with Vonzers inside of them. Yeah, it's a Japanese RPG, isn't it? What Vonzers? I came in those torpedoes. Whoa! Looks like we're not the only crazy ones out here. This is Griffith. We found the target. Capture your target above all else. But if all else fails, destroy them. They'll lose our Lukov's orders. Roger, all units, you know the drill. Wow, that guy looks menacing. Look at that. I don't know why, he just seems to. Yeah. I don't know, just the look of him. Looks like we, looks like Lukov's got himself some, some cronies. All right, let's see what, uh, let's uh, choose our team for this one. Uh, God, I did such a bad showing. I almost want to just stick with like, I should go back to Ryogo for a bit. All right, well, I, I did, I had three main line fires and two ranged. Maybe I should go back to two range, or two long range and two. I keep wanting to show uh, uh, Armstrong, you know, kind of some improvement for him, but I don't know. I'm not doing too well with my melee guys this time around. Uh, I could go with the Dream Team again. I gotta have Kazuki. There's like no reason other than not to use them. Or Emma. I mean, they're pretty solid overall. Um, let's keep. I think. I think I'm, I might just keep Armstrong out of this one. I keep hoping he'll unlock his double punch and stuff like that. And I know there is a way to do it by doing the simulation program to unlock it and then play the battle, but. I'm trying to, like, keep my experience low. Although, technically, doing the simulations don't give you a lot of experience at this level if I do one of the early in ones, but, yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep Armstrong out of this one, I think. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think I'll keep Impact. Uh, oops. Actually, I think last time she got... Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep anti-impact on these guys this time around. Yeah, I think that'll work. Hopefully I chose the right right uh, choice. Man, we got new music here. This is pretty creepy. Look at that. Or listen to that. Look at that. What's wrong with me? Alright, I think we've got a boss fight or like a, a sort of semi-boss fight. It's been a while since we had a straight up boss fight, I noticed. Alright, let's check our components. Looks like it's pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot of areas for cover, or... I mean, there is some a possible uh, obstacles for... Uh, um, loss of percentages due to arcs or something like that, but let's look at our targets here. Uh, let's see. Let's see, we've got a... Uh, the imaginary number, huh? He's in a Kibbing Zero. Ooh, a, diff a new unit. Looks like he's got pre-major level upgrades, anti-impact. 
So he's gonna suck for Kazuki. Uh, she's got a chunk toss, shotgun, and a melee fist. Does he have any skills? He's got. Oh no! The enemies now have double assault. My God! All right, so we have to watch out for close quarters combat with these guys. And I actually, I don't think, despite them having double assault, I don't think they're unless they lose their shotgun. I really don't think he's gonna try for melee. So we might get lucky and not have to deal with that. But anyway, another keeming zero with an anti-piercing. Uh, so probably you could go after him specifically. Uh, let's see, he also has double assault. Nasty. Man, we've had it for so long in the game. It's just weird seeing other enemies have it. Let's see, keeping zero. Uh, same thing. Double assault, anti-impact. And then we've got their boss in a keeping zero as well. Same weapons, anti-piercing. The Griffith. Griffith. I almost thought, almost thought it was Griffin for a second. No, it's Griffith. What Griffith from Berserk? Yeah, probably not. Uh, let's see, man, shotgun. And he's got a Void 40. Ugh. That's the that's the upgraded version of what I have with Kazuki. So instead of being able to avoid 20 damage points, this guy can avoid up to 40. So uh, I don't think I have the leg options yet to get that ability yet. But yeah, so there is a chance, depending on what weapon we use, he might just be able to just ignore it. So. So that's better to hit him with like single target big blasts, really. So maybe Emma, Emma I, he might be an Emma target. And uh, okay, so all right, we've got our target. So let's see. Don't want to move too far. What's the movement status? Uh, five. We have to come down from that way. We can move pretty far without having to worry about it. I don't... Actually, I might have to double check my. Uh, color skew here real quick because you know what? give me just a second my color is slightly off hold on a moment all right we're back i just had to adjust some of the colors looks like my cables have been going wonky again so sorry about that so yeah it looks a lot better okay anyway hopefully i don't kick any of my cables again and mess it up okay let's see let's move let's get him a, a bit closer we, we've got to be fighting other enemies in this encounter because all of them are close range. None of them have range. I bet I bet uh, after some time passes, I bet they're going to... Um, something's going to appear. But anyway, yeah, let's have a, let's have Emma work on Griffith. Griffith. Hopefully he doesn't have a dodge for it. Nice. All right, and then, uh, like, and then have everyone move up. At least a decent amount. Same 44%, but I'd rather try it than not. Oh, nice. Got lucky there. All right. I'll move uh, Rio go up a bit. Yeah, third, uh, even 31% still, still better than nothing, so. Ooh. Hey, uh, better chances to hit him. I got a decent amount on him for being only 30%. Sometimes percentages can work in my favor. All right, let's uh, get our guy up here so next turn he can just uh, zip zip line over over there. Here they come. Uh-oh, what are you doing? He's blasting out the barricades? Enemies never do smart things like that. What's, what do you want, game? What's up with that? No, that just surprised me. <laughs> All right. Oh, is that the anti-piercing guy that's coming after me? Maybe. Yeah, that'll be good for Kazuki. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't go melee with them because there is a small chance that they'll double assault me, too. Ooh, my own worst enemy. Myself. All right. Looks like... Yeah, they're going to just basically just walk off the edge here. So it means... Let's see. One... Yeah, he's gonna be able to hit Emma. He just has to move there. So we're gonna have to. Sh we're gonna have to adjust Emma where Emma is. Oh, she's done it. My man's with. Okay, that's a better spot. Okay. Almost took out his legs. The legs. All right. Must save the brain. Oh my. Good percentages either way. Oh, they're... What? Really? Okay, anyway. Um, do I want him to be that close, though? He's pretty close. That's a better... 
bear protection. But I do want to actually hit a guy that's actually going to take my damage a little bit better than me. So. Ooh, nice. Ha, <laughs> guaranteed smack to the face. Take this. Oh, we got the... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot he could... He had pile of damage. Oh, wow, nice. Three, three tags? I like that. I'll take it. Ooh, it almost blew off one of his arms, too. Eh. I'd rather have Zoom. All right, let's get Kazuki over there. What's his percentage? Probably not. Uh, ugh. That would be a decent spot, but that's probably going to screw with him pretty badly, so yeah, I'd rather have him uh, here instead. Blew off his hands, but again, double fists us. Double fists us. Ugh. I might turn this rated T game into rated E. Or rated M. Ooh. Anyway. Alright, let's blast this punk. Ooh. I got an anti impact, so it doesn't hurt as much. It still hurts. When you made fun of me, it hurt. Say, I really want to be able to move around. I guess some AI just if you give them the, uh, enough obstacles, they will uh, they will just blast through them. So. You know, for having anti-impact, you do a lot more damage to me than I than you, I expected. Right, I did give myself the hand. I mean, twenty percent less damage. So there's that. All right, let's keep uh, working on Griffith. Oh, we could move back a bit. Now. Go to him if he's still there. No. I'm just trying to see, think if I should help Kazuki. It is always better to attack him if you can. So yeah, we'll we'll assist him. I mean, there's no honor in solo fighting a dude. You know what I mean? Ooh, nice. We might just kill the pilot and, and get the mech. Ah, you missed. With 80%, no less. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Um, that's a bit of a Yeah, let's try it. But yeah, uh, I think these mechs are new, so if you, can, uh, if you can get one to surrender, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to, but we'll try. That's still better than a sharp stick in there. Oh, I can't. Huh. Well, at least it let me uh, shoot him right in the face. I can't double salt him, but. Huh, I didn't get as much damage in on that as I would have liked. I've noticed my avoid ability is not locking anymore. Uh oh. <coughs> I've noticed it hardly ever unlocks, like the avoid ability. Oh well. Uh oh. Well. Wait, why are you running away? What are you doing? Get back here. All right. Eh, might as well finish this guy off. Let's see. Oh, we can, we can get shotgunned either way, so. Work on smacking Griffin a bit. Ooh, nice. Haha. -ha. Too bad more zoom doesn't improve your chances of hitting a specific spot. At least as far as I know, I haven't seen anything that, that says, oh, if you have really high percentages, you're more likely to hit the body or something like that, you know? Um. Yeah, might as well get out of this uh, shotgun range. Ah, oh, man, come on. All right. Anyway. Um. 
yourself uh, help them with that. Get it close for a good uh, good shotgun blast in the face. Ooh. You know what? This actually would have been a really good fight for Armstrong because of anti-impact. But well, actually, I don't know. Would have been really good. It would have been better than the previous encounters, let's just say. Oh, God! Oh, no! My worst fears come true! Ah! Oh. Whew. Good thing I had that shield. Okay. That's fine. That sucked, but that's fine. Uh-oh. Hooray for shields! Hooray for school! Hooray for me! Anyway. Uh-oh. Oh, well, this will finish him off for sure. I'll take a shotgun by the face, but... God, for having, for having defense of a uh, of twenty impact, twenty percent impact, I'm almost dead with Kazuki. I might die actually here, and we'll find out, or get really, really close. Yeesh! What the heck, Kazuki? Like seriously, I prepared for it. It's not like I'm not. I didn't choose the right skills to be immune. Although I probably should have made everyone into impact. But that's the problem with the... Uh, oh, wait. I did make all my main guys into it. But yeah, that's the problem with this game is that if you really want to know what you're up against, you either have to play the game ahead of time or just reload the, for the save. And I don't know if that's very good from a tactical point of view, you know? I think what the game should have had is you should have been able to look at the map and the characters before choosing who you have. Um, and then move... And then place them and all that. But, oh, well. Anyway, um... I will help with, uh, help with that. Ooh, got him ejected. Nice. Denied! Alright, let's, uh, with that in mind, since he has to waste a turn, let's see if we can kill him before he gets back into his mech. Oh, he, ooh, he could, he could actually kill me with his, me with his pilot. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to... I forgot how bad the percentages are for hitting a small dude. Yeah, Maybe I'll get Zoom 2 to activate. Or not. Or not. Ugh. Come on, man. Alright. Let's see if we can get some damage in on him. Because, yeah, for all, the, uh, he always goes first, no matter what. It kind of makes sense, because... Ah, uh, oh, man, I was hoping to get a... I'm really scared to have Kazuki just run up and try to smack him because he's gonna... Because, right, didn't this pistol have decent range? How close can he get? Or can he always... Oh, maybe he used up his turn. Let's see. Oh, he did. Okay. Although he might kill me. No, he'll... Uh, AI is supposed to, uh, uh, like, their first turn, if they're out of the mix, is to always go under suits if they can, so... Oh, come on! Really? Oh, that's that's. Ooh, ooh. Um, um. No, that's fine. It's the law of percentages. I mean, that's just gonna happen. All right, let's uh, get Emma to use her last missile on this guy. I oh, mean, if only I was using it against the other dude. That's it. Oh well. What? Oh, come on! Oh. All right, maybe I'll get lucky and have a, da a pilot damage activate on this guy. And eh, we'll see. Who knows? Nope. Uh, of course. Uh, of course. I'm just gonna. I might just have Kazuki get out of his mech for this because. Because unless I get a really good shot, I really doubt I'm gonna be able to like. Take out his arm. And he has he has anti-impact, doesn't he? Oh his wait his oh his defenses are off, huh? That's right, I forgot that if you uh uh well um, although the AI at player AI we can reset our 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 defenses, but for some reason on him, although what what. 
what hand is his? Uh, no, his right hand is his melee. If, even if I destroy it, it won't. Only, it'll only do. Even if I destroy his arm, it'll only destroy his melee arm. So, and I doubt he's gonna melee me if I get up close. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just eject Kazuki. I, there's otherwise he'll just straight die. I was hoping that he would attack Kazuki in his little buddy form. But, oh well. That'll be, that'll be the end of my buckler. Uh oh. Once again, my, the the I wouldn't say irony, but the, the situation is called for. It might come up and all right. Let's move you. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, that's good. All right. Pilot damage. Pilot damage. No. Nice, he surrendered. Okay, good. And then I'll just have Kazuki shoot him for the uh, um, for the official surrender. I'm not close enough. Oh, you know what? I'll just have a. Um, yeah, Kazuki, you're just. Uh, no, I'll just wait to keep you there. I'll just have her punch him. Hopefully that won't kill him. Oh, it shouldn't. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Hey, at least we got one of them. Ooh! Wow, Griffith surrendered? That is weird. Huh. Okay. Sure. Sure. I'll take your mech. Why not? It's not unique or anything. It's just, you know. Hey, all right. Even if we get a bad score, that's pretty good. We'll get a bad score because I took way too much damage as Kazuki. It was a lot of damage. I don't, he almost got straight up killed just from mass damage from the shotgun. Hey, for that's pretty good. I just took too many attacks. But, I mean, I'd rather get a... Uh, all right, what do we want to get rid of? Yeah, we'll swap out that. Uh, do we, need, we don't need to. Let me check the stats on... Let's see, And I don't know which one is... Uh, is uh, See this one. Let's see this one. Okay, so that must be Griffiths because it's got better stats. Yeah, I bet so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one, both of them, and then I'm gonna uh, break down the. Actually, I could just break down one. I don't need the full Mac. Alright, um, do I want to get rid of a young Sai, or do I just want to sell that? I, because I'm going to break down the Kibik next one anyway. You know, I'm just going to get rid of both of the young Sais. Now I'm just going to break down the weaker one for parts. Actually, I technically don't need both of them at all. I just need to break down the one. And I could just sell the other one later. Yeah, I'll just break down the Griffith's mech and then... Like I said, it's not unique, it's just better. It's just got slightly better stats. Anyway. Hooray, we won! These weren't normal Chingui soldiers. Were they special forces? <laughs> These guys give me the creeps. It felt like I was fighting a machine. God, I can really can't get my Schwarzenegger to work today. If I just like Lukov... Damn it, Lukov's probably already in Daha Zhang. Ugh, got away after all. Don't give up yet. We'll have to go to Daha Zhang and pursue. That's right smack in the middle of enemy territory. I have contacts there. Let's just think about getting there. All right. Now it looks, looks like Lukov's got a bit of a hurry. And man, what is Lukov... What resources does he actually have... Who were Griffith and his soldiers? Man? Or are they more a machine now than man? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 3. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.